Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel. So right now we are the web pen testing series challenge number 10. Challenge number 10 is the last level of the stage one in this pen testing series. Post this, we'll be moving to stage two level one, which is ideally called the list, list, uh, level 11, if you may want to call it, right? So in this particular challenge, let's see what it says. Yes. All the hard work up to this moment has been reaped into success. He just has to crack the code for this level to enter the secret location where the information of the whereabouts of the lost treasure has been left. He enters the code and it says restricted access. Oh my God. How is he going to enter the secret base now? Oh, wow. Nice challenge, isn't it? Nice storyline too. Now let's see this. I go to this particular link. When I keep the mouse pointer on this link, right? Or when I click on this, what does it say? It says unauthorized access. It clearly says it's unauthorized access, which means that there is a pop-up which holds this text called unauthorized access coming from elsewhere. We don't know. Let's see about it, right? But uh, before that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a view source. View page source. Here I'm going to search for the text access. No, not this. Unauthorized access, right? See, it's not showing up. So it means that the text unauthorized access is not here, but it's being pulled from somewhere. Let's understand that a little deeper. But I already see quite a few interesting uh, uh, things. I look at this, it's actually showing some kind of uh, encrypted data, this one. But we'll see that, I just copied it, right? But please be mindful, when you keep the mouse pointer on this particular uh, link, what do you see? You see JavaScript colon, P function, open close and semicolon, right? Okay. Now, please pay attention. If I type the same thing, does it do anything? JavaScript. Okay. I, JavaScript colon P open close fun. Let me say enter. Wow. See, I did not click the link, but I still invoked the function called the P function and it threw up a message box and that is the same message box, right? So how did I identify that? I identify that because look at this, when I'm about to click this, it says click here for password, right? There is a, it says click here for password. There is a ahref here, which says JavaScript colon P. Now, let me do this URL decode. Similar to what we did earlier, I'm opening a URL decoding utility from the internet. Here, I paste this particular data that we just copied from the view source. It is a commented data, which means whatever you put here will not reflect back on the front end page. It's just as a comment, HTML comment. I say decode. Let's understand what happens when I say decode. Oh, wow. <laughs> when I say decode, it clearly tells you commented call to defined function, let me in agent jax. It says, let me in agent jax. That's a function name here. It says, let me in agent jax. So what I can actually do is, there are multiple methods of clearing this challenge. Okay, let me help you understand. So like this P function, I now know there is another function called let me in agent jax. So I go back here. I say Java script colon, let me in agent Ajax. Am I clear? I'm just calling the same function from the same address bar on the same page. And let's see what happens. Wow. It's beautiful. We are talking to the server, asking the password and throwing back the password back to us again. It's saying Guru Kani is the password. Guru Kani is the password. Before we try this password, yeah, let's Give it another try, right? Let me tell you how to track this in another method. So what do I do? I do view source. And in this view source, we are going to 
this uh, password yeah we are going to this function right javascript function it's okay it's here and please see this where is this function getting called from it is getting called from hide.htm there is a okay i copy this link okay or i click this link please pay attention it's opening okay what is this happening hide.htm is what we clicked right we clicked for hide.htm but look at this it became unauthorized.htm which means hide.htm is redirecting to unauthorized.htm right so what am I, am i going to do this is not the page that i want to see anyway i'm going to see view source there is nothing in this page it's saying unauthorized access so it's not going to be of any help to us but i understood that if i say hide and say enter it is again getting redirected here right which means this browser which understands html data has a html function which is forwarding the data or the forwarding the page from one page to the other so what should i do i should open the same file hide.htm in a application which does not understand or render html as html but it will open that as a raw text data so what is the application we'll use simple we'll use the existing application called the notepad okay i open notepad i say file i say open when i say open i'm just going to type this ctf.digiler.com/file/ this is exactly the url how did i get this url please be mindful uh, i took this url from here i just right click copy address location now what i do i say file open here i paste it and wait because this file is getting downloaded from the online it's taking a little while okay do you see this it is saying location.href equal to unauthorized.htm which means the html page html is otherwise called the html document so location.href means you are saying the location of this document should go to unauthorized.htm not hide.htm unauthorized but this is the hide.htm's content but you are saying go to unauthorized.htm but let me show you something very cool here right thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity